It's Wednesday, time for our weekly trip to the new zoo. Neil Anderson joins us again live from Swamico. Hi, Neil. Good morning. You know, this, uh, Pete, you had asked me earlier about uh, flow and yeah. uh, if anybody, you know, I, I mean, you probably have heard, uh, but if you haven't, uh, Flo, our uh, nine-year-old moose, uh, she, she died this weekend uh, on Saturday. So, of course, the staff, including myself, uh, you know, I mean, she was one of our favorites. I have to tell you this, you know, a lot of people ask me, you know, what's your favorite animal at the zoo? And I, you know, and, and it was, it was Flo. And I remember with her, when she got here, yeah, that was back in 2000, and you got to remember, she had that start where uh, the mother was killed on a road out in Vermont, and uh, she was rescued, and they started bottle feeding her, and then they sent her out to us, and I remember her get, <laughs> getting off a, a big draft truck. You know, here's this little 100-pound 100, 100 moose uh, back in 2000, and then we finished bottle raising, and she spent some time in different exhibits, finally went out on to our exhibit, and I'll tell you, she's jo it was a joy to work with, and I know uh, the not only the staff and volunteers, but uh, our visitors uh, really enjoyed uh, the exhibit and coming out to see the moose. Was uh, she one sick of the things that Yeah, and she was. She was sick for the last couple of years. And we were trying to figure out what was going on with her, and uh, we don't we don't know if you know maybe part of having that start, you know, and maybe she didn't get all the maternal antibodies that she needed that may have contributed. Uh, but what she did is she had some chronic uh, lung infections, but she had an intestinal problem the last couple of years, and we didn't know you know really what was going. On. Remember we we did a procedure, we floated her teeth, worked on her teeth, and everything, and. Uh, that seemed to help out a little bit, but it did cure, you know, uh, the food basically was going in her and then coming basically right out. And unfortunately, you know, she was losing weight. Uh, what would happen now, we did a, a necropsy, you know, for everybody out there, a necropsy is an animal autopsy. That's something when an animal dies at the zoo. Uh, we do because we want to learn and see if there's something that, uh, that we need to do or prepare the rest of the collection. And one of the things we found is that her, her lungs were real abnormal. So there's some things going on, tissue samples were, were sent, uh, some nodules on the liver and everything. But the interesting thing, uh, you know, that we, we knew she had uh, the intestinal problems, but she had a section of her colon, maybe about six inches long, that was swollen, you know, probably uh, at least probably three, four times its normal size, and there was an ulcer, and it had perforated. And she probably had some septic issues uh, with that as well. Now, we don't know what caused that or if that was, you know, uh, uh, a part of uh, the, the chronic, maybe a liver or our lung problems. Uh, we're not sure, but that's all the tests uh, that were sent out, biopsies mm -hmm. of all that. Or maybe it was cancer. We're not sure. Uh, but we're going to find out exactly what went on with her. But, yes, yeah, she was, a, it's tough because, uh, you, you know, we can do several diagnostic tests. But to actually go in and explore an animal like that mm -hmm. and do some different type of testing, it's really difficult to, to, to find out what's going on. And sometimes, you know, you, you just don't know. I remember uh, bottle yeah. feeding her. You, you, had, yes, right. you introduced her on Good Day Wisconsin back when I was reporting, and, and you let me <laughs> bottle feed her. That was, I have a picture of it somewhere, and I hope to oh, find it oh. soon. But we'll definitely oh. miss Flo. At the yeah, zoo. she was like you said. She was a favorite out here for everybody, and you know. And I got to tell you this is, you know, it's different. You know, when you're walking by an exhibit, you know, in the morning, and, and you you see these animals, and all of a sudden, they're, the one isn't there anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's a tough thing for everybody. But you know, the, we're hoping right now. And I'll tell you this is, we just got word from uh, a zoo out in uh, North Dakota that they have a nine-year-old. They heard about this. They have a nine-year-old female that's doing real well. She's alone, and uh, we're hoping that we can make arrangements and maybe bring her over here oh, so that, that we can news. pair them up. So, you know, there's some you know good news on the other end of it. But yeah, we certainly will miss well. Yeah. Right. Thanks, Neil. Thanks, Neil.